Opposition leader Mark Golding has again expressed concern about the sustainability of the use of states of emergency, SOEs, as a policing tool. This in response to yesterday's declaration of SOEs for St. Anne, Clarendon, St. Catherine, specified areas of Kingston and St. Andrew, St. James, Westmoreland and Hanover. Prime Minister Andrew Holness claimed the security measure is necessary as the country's crime rate had increased since the expiration of the last SOEs on November 29. Speaking in response to the SOEs, the opposition leader said the Prime Minister made no attempt to consult with the opposition on the matter. We do not see the use of states of emergency as a policing tool as being a sustainable path forward for Jamaica putting the majority of Jamaicans at legal risk of being detained for extended periods by police or soldiers without charge is no way to address Jamaica's long-standing challenging problem of criminal violence. Many he said SOEs are just about detention, which is not a sustainable strategy for reducing violent crime. The opposition leader said SOEs encourage sloppy law enforcement practices while noting that Jamaicans are not in support of the measure, especially in the Yuletide season. People are now fed up of wasting time in long lines of traffic at checkpoints. After two years of COVID, people are looking forward to enjoying their Christmas season and making some money from parties, shows and other entertainment. People are angry to know that this will be disrupted by states of emergency. Meantime, Mr. Golding expressed concern about some aspects of the SOE regulations stable in Parliament. We also have issues with the state of emergency regulations as modified this year because they are excessive and easily abused. For example, the regulations make it a criminal offence punishable by months of imprisonment if you do not answer any questions a police officer or soldier may put to you in a state of emergency area. The regulations make it a criminal offence, again punishable by months of imprisonment, if you use abusive language in a state of emergency area. Opposition leader Mark Golding, he said while a strong security presence should be maintained in communities that are facing high levels of violence, the use of soldiers and police in this way is permitted by normal laws and does not require an SOE. Meantime, Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson has assured that the security forces will attempt to manage the impact of the recently imposed states of public emergency on residents going about their lawful business, noting that there might be disruptions and delays to residents due to the SOEs. Commissioner Anderson said the security forces will continuously monitor and address the issues. I want to reassure the public that while we conduct various operations in the declared spaces, we will attempt to manage the impact of our activities on persons going about their normal business. The scheme of operation is to minimize disruptions for persons going about their lawful activities and simultaneously disrupt and deter criminals and gangsters as far as the emergency powers allow us to. Even so, there is likely to be some disruption and delays. We will be monitoring this closely to resolve any issues as soon as possible. However, at times, based on intelligence, disruptions are unavoidable. We ask for your patience and understanding as we collectively respond to the violence in these areas so declared. He also appealed to the public to assist the security forces as they try to rid the country of crime and violence. The public can assist by complying with the directions of security force personnel where applicable adhering to curfew guidelines and assist with providing information on guns, gunmen and gangs in your community. For persons residing outside of the SOE boundaries of the parishes or police divisions so declared, please advise us if you see persons turning up in your communities that you may have concerns about. The public can contact us by calling the JCF tip line at 811, police emergency at 119 or crime stop at 311. Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson. And Prime Minister Andrew Holness has sought to assure that states of public emergency SOEs will not have a negative effect on businesses or commerce. The, the imposition, or rather, 
SOEs were declared for St. Anne Clarendon, St. Catherine's specified areas of Kingston and St. Andrews, St. James, Westmoreland and Hanover. The imposition comes a week after two sets of SOEs expired on November 29. I also want to point out that in this iteration of the SOEs, bearing in mind that we are approaching the Christmas season, that the construction of the powers that will be deployed in the SOEs will be mindful of commerce, of entertainment, and of persons' movement. So the notion that somehow the SOEs will cripple business or cripple commerce, that's false. Prime Minister Andrew Honus. 51 new COVID-19 cases and 17 deaths were recorded in the week of December, or rather of November 28 to December 4. The positive cases consist of 27 females and 24 males, ranging in age from 21 days to 92 years. St. Anne led the case count with 11 cases, followed by Westmoreland and St. Catherine with 8 cases each. The health ministry says the positivity rate is now at 2.8% and another 114 people have recovered from the virus. Meantime, 19 deaths are under investigation. The health ministry will be rolling out more mobile health systems in the new year. Health and Wellness Minister Dr. Christoph Tofton said more must be done regarding community-based interventions for public health. Speaking at the opening of the Chapterton Community Hospital in Clarendon yesterday, he explained that the mobile health systems will go into communities and undertake health checks for residents. If you look at our healthcare profile, the sick profile is rising, particularly in certain categories like cancers and so on, hypertension, diabetes. And the big part of the challenge is that people are not finding out their vulnerabilities early enough. They're not screening enough. They're not doing their checks. Our men are fearful of going to the doctor unless they're sick. But that's also a general cultural rule. Part of the response to that is for us to engage in more community engagement. And Chapleton represents a community health system that I hope will be taken advantage of. But we're going to roll out more in the new year some mobile health systems where we go into communities and we encourage and incentivize persons to come out and do their health checks. That's the wave of the future. The solution to sickness is not just hospital beds. It is about people knowing their health profile and protecting themselves. Taking responsibility for your health is a key theme going forward. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton.